When fluid flows through a pipe, the internal roughness of the pipe wall can create local eddy currents within the fluid, adding a resistance to the flow of the fluid. The velocity profile in a pipe will show that the fluid elements in the center of the pipe will move at higher speed than those closer to the wall. Therefore, friction will occur between layers within the fluid. This movement of the fluid elements relative to each other is associated with pressure drop called frictional losses. The objectives for this experiment are to measure the loss of head at different flow rates in pipes of different diameters, and to determine the friction factor. Apparatus and supplies Hydraulics bench A mobile self-contained bench to provide a variable supply of water to a series of interchangeable bench. Mounting or floor standing hydraulic and fluid mechanics experiments. Stopwatch a device that shows time or determine time. Set of pipes. These pipes are the passageway of the fluid. It has different diameter, specifically 3 mm and 5 mm, which will be used in the experiment. Pipe holder used to hold the pipe in place. Tube connector. It is used to connect the apparatus from the hydraulics bench. Differential manometer are sets of tubes with measurements used to measure pressure heads at different points and also the difference of head between two points. Beaker, used for collecting water, and graduated cylinder, used to measure the collected water. Setting up the equipment. First, place the desired pipe to the pipe holder. Remember to tighten up the screw to prevent leakage and undesirable outflow. Place it on the hydraulics bench. Also, place a differential manometer on the hydraulics bench near the pipe. Connect the two tubes for both ends of the pipe. For the third tube, place it directly to the basin of the hydraulics bench. The third tube is for air bleeding, which will later on be discussed. Connect the hydraulics bench and the pipe with the tube connector. And that's how to set up this experiment. Ensure that all tubes are connected well to the equipment or apparatus. You can use zip tie for tightening up the connections. Procedure and experimentation. This portion will be done simultaneously. Turn on the hydraulics bench so that it can supply water throughout the system. Do air bleeding to remove the unwanted air. Check every tube for air. Once air bleeding is done, regulate the flow by turning the valve. It is best to have a flow that measures between the readings of the differential manometer. Due to small amount of discharge, collecting of water volume with specific time, 5 seconds, is more convenient in determining discharge by the use of equation discharge is equal to volume over time. Measurement of the volume can be collected using the graduated cylinder to obtain a more accurate reading. Lastly, 
Take a look again at the difference of pressure head and record it. Data and results. Two datas are given which are the diameter of the pipe and the length. Four datas are obtained, namely volume, time, and two pressure heads, H1 and H2. For trial 1, a pipe with 0.005 meters of diameter and 0.40 meters of length was used. For 5 seconds, the volume collected is 0.098 liters and the reading for H1 is 0.327 meters and 0.204 meters for H2. You can compute for the other data by means of the following formulas. Discharge is equal to volume over time, so 0.098 over 5 is equal to 1.96 times 10 raised to negative 3 meter cube per second. Two trials were made in determining the discharge, so the QAV is 1.955 times 10 raised to negative 3. Velocity is equal to Q over A, and the area is pi over 4 times D squared. D is the diameter of the pipe. So, V is equal to 1.955 times 10 raised to negative 3 over pi over 4 times 0 0.005 squared is equal to 0 0.996 meters per second. HF is simply the difference of H1 and H2. So HF is equal to 0 0.327 minus 0 0.204 and is equal to 0 0.123. F can be solved using the Darcy Weisbach formula, which is F is equal to HF times the quantity of D over L times the quantity of 2G all over V squared. Substituting the values obtained from this experiment, we can get the value of 0 0.0304 of F. Same procedure will be done for the 0.007 diameter pipe. Sources of errors The sources of error for this experiment can come from human errors and possibly faulty equipment. First, it is possible that the apparatus had not been properly calibrated. This may cause the data to be slightly different than what it should be. Second, the person observing the manometer may have made minor mistakes in reading the manometer. Lastly, in recording the volume, the group may have exceeded the time set in recording. Conclusion Two pipes of different diameters, 5mm and 7mm, were used in the experiment. Comparing the values for the frictional loss between the two given pipes, the pipe with smaller diameter has higher head loss due to friction. For this range of diameter, the expected value for frictional loss ranges from 0.03 to 0.05, which was satisfied in this experiment. Some of the factors affecting the frictional loss are the diameter or cross-sectional area and the material of the pipe used.